What is up friends, welcome back to another movie reaction. Today I am going to be checking out Love and Monsters, which is a recent film that I'd seen a couple people say good things about. I don't know really any of the details, so I'm going into this one pretty much fully blind, except I do know that two of the stars are Jessica Henwick and Dylan O'Brien, who I've really liked them in their past work. Even Jessica Henwick in Iron Fist, I know a lot of people didn't like that show, but I always thought she she did a great job in that show and so I'm looking forward to seeing them both in this movie and just from looking at the cover of the disc that I've got I think I spotted Merle from The Walking Dead there as well I don't remember his actor name unfortunately but I am looking forward to seeing him in this if he is I could have completely missed seeing who it was though but we will find out soon enough hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for this one though if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow and of course you can check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below of course you'll need your own copy of the film to watch along with me there but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into love and monsters dear amy i am wide awake i've just gotten good at not really moving or breathing being stuck in a survival bunker with a bunch of people who've all found their soulmate is less than ideal <laughs> oh geez it's hard out there in a post-apocalyptic wasteland it's almost like he's reliving the maze runner days it was easier in the beginning you know before we were ran out of bullets facing down one of those things with a janky handmade weapons no walk in the park <laughs> Bro, dude, those look legit. I love the style of them. I want to see somebody use one of those. Being the only single person in the bunker has its perks, too. I get to hang out with Mavis. Of course, she's not much for conversation anymore. Her core battery is shot. I've actually never seen a working one. This is such a great intro, man. I love the way they're setting everything up so fast. But it's not just like getting exposition out there for the sake of exposition. They're doing it really creative and fun. You guys need help. I can help. Let me help. You can't handle it, Joel. You're shook. You guys don't get scared ever? You get really scared. We're not trying to make you feel bad, Joel. We love you, Joel. <laughs> this dialogue's great. Poor Joel is single and can't even join the party in the fighting. They're getting close. Oh man, this is great. I love that he had to stay back so we just get to see it from this screen. Just killing us with suspense. I'm going. Joel, wait! Oh man, we started off fun and lighthearted. Now we're getting to some tense stuff. Got her. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Love the use of shadow though. That's legit. The lighting's sick. Whoa, man, that looks terrifyingly well done. Holy, did not expect that. <laughs> Dude, this is actually way cool, man. I love the way this is filmed. Dude absolutely froze under pressure. Did I shoot it or did you? What do you think? You. <laughs> Poor Joel, his first showing there did not go well. I have a pretty severe freezing problem, but I am working on it. <laughs> That's an amazing intro, dude. I freaking love that. What a way to start the film. How's it looking? It looks really good. Are you sure that this pose looks natural? What are you doing? Don't move. Let me see it. No, don't move, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like that we get to go back for a bit, see how it all started. I don't know if I saw Amy in the future. She might have been behind him, the one that killed the monster, but I couldn't quite tell. What do you think? <laughs> Why do I have a beard? No, well, that's shading. I did the shading. My hand is so tiny. You have tiny hands? <laughs> Oh my gosh, real Picasso right here. Some pristine abstract art. Do you know what time it is? Uh, I think it's like 6.30. Oh, Amy, you're scaring Crocodile Carl. <laughs> crocodile Carl, man. Hopefully that's not some foreshadowing for a giant crocodile. We need to go. Yo, what a cool shot right there. I love the way they filmed that. This movie's definitely surprising me so far. Helps me to draw them. I try to capture their essence, scribble down some notes on how to kill them. Sometimes I think it's the only way I know how to cope with these things. I love that shot with the flamingos making a heart in the background. That art was a whole lot better than what we saw before. Come in 3022, over. 
What is it now, Ray? Hey, Janice. No, it's actually, it's uh, Joel. Hold on one second. Amy, it's Ray. It's Joel. Oh, shoot. She still is alive. Let's go. But that sucks that they're far away from each other. I heard on the open frequency that one of you guys got killed. Breached the bunker. It's kind of scary. Did you have to fight it, too? Yeah, a little. I had to fight it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Talk yourself up, my guy. She doesn't need to know the true details. I write you letters. Really? Yeah, I, I write you letters sometimes. Oh. Yeah, all the time. I'd love to read them. I would love to read them. No. Oh, what a time for that to cut out. Dang it. Does that mean it's gone for good? Or did it just short out for a sec? How far away is Amy's colony? 85 miles. You're not actually thinking of going. Tim, just how long? Seven days. An armed and trained hunting party would be lucky to last 50 miles on the surface. Oh gosh, doesn't sound too hopeful. Is he thinking of doing that just because he wants to be with her or because he's worried this place isn't gonna hold? There's one person in this world who ever truly made me happy and she's only 85 miles away. I'm gonna go see her. <laughs> Felt awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. I love it. Let's go. I'm a bit terrified, but I have hope that he can make it. You need it here. Come on, I don't do anything. Joel, that's not true. You fix the radio, you make the minestrone. <sighs> okay, doesn't sound as important when I say it out loud. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Those are very important things. No one can live without a good minestrone. <sighs> we made you a map. Thanks, Karen. Hey, nice. At least Karens are good in the post-apocalyptic future. Biggest twist of them all. Honestly, I thought it'd be way worse. I've seen a lot of signs of death, but no actual death. So, cross your fingers. Oh. Monster eggs. Oh, shoot. I saw something crawling in that bus right there. This place is just basically Australia on steroids now. Everything's trying to kill you. I don't like this one bit. What the heck is this thing supposed to be? Bro, these mutations are absolutely wild. It's the most intimidating toad ever. Yo, at least we've got a regular old good boy right here. Stick with him for sure. Dang, let's go. Already saved his life. What a boss. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Whoa. Whoa, that was so cool. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> this dog is smart. Surely it's got to have an owner somewhere around here, though. You all alone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Boy? Name's Boy. How the heck did this dog survive so long without getting any sort of mutation? Also makes his name very easy to remember, just Boy. Is this a dress? Oh, 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 sorry. Was that your owner's? Sorry. I'm gonna lie down too. Is that a... <laughs> Man's having a whole conversation with this dog. Good listener though. I'm sure it's more entertaining than speaking to any of the people down in the bunker. Lipstick. Amy. Hey, would you mind if I kept this? Thanks. This is it. Thanks for having me. Hey, you better not go away without taking him with you. This thing's a good luck charm. Oh, hey, 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 no, no, no. You wanna come with me? Okay, you can come. Yeah, we can bring that. Going in the safe backpack. Okay, you ready? I mean, I'm just gonna throw out a guess right now that maybe the owner of this dog is also going to be at the camp they're going to. That'd be the ultimate resolution. I got a dog. His name is Boy. Man, do we make a great team. We found out we have like a ton in common too. I feel like we can talk about anything. <laughs> nice. The shots don't exactly match what he's writing. Perfect. Ow. Ow. What? What? But they look so good. <laughs> oh man, knows his stuff, or the boy knows his stuff. Sure, you get the occasional bloody corpse, but. <laughs> Oh, yikes, man. That's the last thing we need. He didn't scream out or anything, so I don't think he broke his leg or his ankle. Oh, yikes, dude. That's terrifying. Got me a little bit. Is it just a bunch of worms or something that mutated? It's a rope, you numbskull! Put it around your foot and grab it! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There's Merle coming to the rescue. Couldn't have been better timing. 
Menno, finish him off. Oh, there's multiple people. Okay, then. So far, it feels like this is literally just Merle acting in a different movie. I'm uh, Clyde. This is Menno. You're lucky we weren't monsters. We were yelling like a girl. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Okay. <laughs> Oh, even after the terror just roasting him. It's a father-daughter duo, that's dope. So, uh, what happened with your, uh, colony, man? Did they kick you out? I actually left on my own. You stole food, didn't you? He's a food stealer. No, I didn't steal any food. <laughs> Already just reading him like a book, even though it's wrong. This is a rare thing in a post-apocalyptic movie where people you run into are actually friendly. Time to go, Menno. What was that? What's Could going on? Could have been on? a lot of things. Tree flamer, herd stomper, limb snapper, limb crusher. And my favorite, the chumler. <laughs> Great editing. Those are some pretty clever names, too. They all sound pretty frightening. Hey, maybe I can, like, come with you guys. Which way are you headed? To the coast, Jenner Beach. Yeah. We're not cutting north just yet. Oh man, that was surprisingly easy. Let's go. And after the display we saw before, I definitely trust them. You left a nice safe colony for a girl you ain't seen since you were 17. If you knew our connection, you'd probably feel differently. She loves me too, so I pick up right where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, a hopeless romantic. I think that's the case. I sure hope he doesn't get there and she's with somebody else though. I always clear my mind and say to myself, a needle through water. Trust me, my dad was the best archer in my colony. How come he's not the one over here giving me the lessons? Because I'm not her dad. Oh, shoot, that answers that question. They still make a pretty good team. It's like a Last of Us situation. Into the water. Hey, that was pretty close. It was better. It was really good, right? Let's go, man. Impressive. He's a quick learner. Yo, don't move. Oh my god, why? Give me your shirt. My shirt? Yeah, yeah. What? That's an animal or creature? I thought that was a wall. That's terrifying. <laughs> Just stay very still. Is he gonna try and throw the shirt at it or in another direction so it follows the scent elsewhere? Easy does it. Thing looks disgusting, man. What the heck? That might be the most frightening looking thing yet. All good. On your way now. On your way. Oh, it's a snail. What? I love that literally everything is a hundred times its original size. All the snails are nice. There can be nice ones? You can always tell them their eyes. Just look at their eyes. This one probably saved our lives, too. Gonna spread your sin all over this hillside. Oh, perfect, man. It worked out better than I could have expected. But now Joel doesn't have a shirt. My parents thought if we could just make it out of Fairfield, we might have a shot. You're from Fairfield? Man, I've never met anyone who made it out of Fairfield. That place was basically ground zero. Oh, shoot. Love learning about some backstory, but that makes it very impressive that he survived. Your parents? No, it's just me. You, you putting that on yourself? Mm. You're from Fairfield, man. You shouldn't even be here. You're more of a survivor than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Give yourself some credit if that is true what he was saying. I like this crew. Okay, time to break camp. Let's go. You get a hot meal or a good night's sleep, not both. <laughs> I love the abrupt change to that. That was great. I thought we could rest for a minute. Dear Amy, I made friends, human friends, and they're teaching me everything they know. Like lesson three, don't take shortcuts. Dang, that was an awesome shot right there. What? The landscape of everything, super cool to look at. Ferns like these have an anti-venom. Good in a pinch for snakes, slugs. Great entry for your book. Lizard looking ones, can't climb for sh Clyde knows his stuff. This man's a walking encyclopedia for this place. Couldn't have run into a better guy. Close to where our paths diverge. Or you can be sensible. Come with us to the mountains. They can be sensible all my life. It's really got me nowhere. Come with us. Strength in numbers, you know? It's gonna be pretty conflicting, man, because he would be a lot safer with them. I don't know the distance between when they're diverging and getting to Amy, but it's gonna be a tough choice. Why'd you gotta go? Because this girl, she means a lot to me. I got something for you. Now, I don't even know if you know what this is, but... Lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Worked out after all. Just gave it to her. A nice parting gift. This might come in handy, too. Oh, that's great. Do you have, uh, do you have any more that I can have? You get one. Pull the pin, count to five. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know if giving him more would be the best idea anyway. If there's some sort of accident, being a million pieces. You're gonna be okay. Let's go, kid. Hey, man, you made it all this way from Fairfield. What's another 30 miles, huh? Oh, 30 miles is still a pretty long way because originally they were saying that an experienced team would be lucky to make it 50. I wonder if this really is going to be the last time we see him because if he does make it to Amy, I think he's just going to stay there. Are you hearing something? Boy, 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 boy. Hey, boy. Gosh, I think boy realizes something's coming. Joel better hide. Bro, is this gonna be like a giant millipede or something? Oh, come on, Joel. Let's see those lessons in action. He hasn't freezed up yet, so that's a good sign. Gosh, that was terrifying. Love the way it was filmed, though. And the effects on that thing look pretty impressive. You okay? Joe, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Oh, gosh, man. I, I love seeing the flashbacks, but not the time to dilly-dally. Gotta save boy. You can survive this. I love you. I love you. Yeah, what a brutal thing to witness. No wonder he would always freeze before. That's probably where his mind goes. No. Hey! <laughs> Let's go. Finally stepping into action. <laughs> yes, bro. One shot, one kill. Well, I guess technically two shots. The first was to get its attention. That's a boss move. Are you okay? You're okay. Oh man, thank goodness. I did not want the dog to die. Finally broke the stereotype or the cliche. Hello. Oh, is it gonna be a working Mavis unit? Sounded pretty robotic. Here, on. I have 51 minutes of power left. I am so pleased to meet you. <laughs> that would be pretty cool to see one of those just out in the wild. Hopefully the noise isn't a problem that anything's gonna hear him. May I ask what you were doing outside of your colony? Did you steal food? No. No, I didn't steal any food. Uh... <laughs> I love that that's the first thing everybody assumes must happen a lot if that's the case. I would be honored to donate my remaining power if it would help you with your quest for Amy with one eye and two ease. <laughs> hey, let's go, man. Everybody helping him out on this journey. At least this Mavis unit got to do one last good act. Come in 3022. Joel? Amy, hey. Yeah, it's good to hear yours too. Let's go. Glad she was the first to pick up. She sounds stoked, which is a good sign. Some survivors showed up a few days ago and they're rescuing us. G getting you out of there, what do you mean? I can't remember the last time I actually felt like everything was going to be... Oh, dang it, dude. It always cuts out at the worst time. What? Don't tell me she's going to be gone when he gets there. It's just the dumbest thing I ever could have done. I think it's romantic. Right, see? Yeah, okay, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone appreciates this man, and he's made it this far. Might as well finish. Another option is that Amy will not see those qualities in you, and you will have traveled a great distance only to be met with disappointment. <laughs> Oh gosh, Debbie Downer right here. He did not need to hear that right now. What is your full name? Uh, Joel Dawson. Whoa. What lovely parents you had, Joel. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Gets to see their faces again, but he hasn't seen that since he lost them. What would you say to your mother now, Joel? I guess I tell her I'm okay. You made it to a colony. Oh man, this is a great scene. Very emotional. Love the editing. I miss you guys so much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a nice moment right there. I'm a fan of that. Mavis came in clutch big time right there. Would you like to hear a song? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
great song, man. Love the imagery as well. I wish there could just be the good parts of the mutations. Boy, where are you going? Oh, it's that thing that Minnow was talking about. Dang it, that came back into play. One of the worst things that you could run into out here. Oh, that's terrifying. What a shot, though. There's no way he makes it this close and dies like that, though. Hey, well, Dylan O'Brien has plenty of experience running, so I've got full confidence in him here. Oh, God. Dude, that looks horrific. Love the sound design of it, though. What a great frame. <laughs> oh, dang, man. That was way too close. I don't know what the budget was for this, but I assume it's rather low compared to some big budget stuff, but a lot of the creatures look really impressive. Oh no, man, we already had one scare with the boy. If he still dies after all. Count to five. Oh, I forgot he had that. Please tell me it works out. Gotta have the best aim of his life. <laughs> okay, that was pretty sick right there. Made it right where it needed to go. Oh my god! That was awesome. Oh, I feel like Tom Cruise. <laughs> Great line. This man's gonna be the best warrior out here now. Plenty of experience. Ow! Oh my god! Ow! Ow! What is biting him, man? No matter what happens, we're never in the clear fully. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, dude. I was worried that was gonna be what it was. We just had this happen recently in Stand By Me, but now it's mutated. You just almost got us killed! We were supposed to care about each other. I would never do that to you. Never! Freaking dress! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Oh no, boys just peacing out. They had their first big fight. I'm sure we eventually gotta learn who that dress belongs to. Like these have an anti-venom good to pinch for snakes slugs. oh perfect remember that i'd completely forgotten about that it better work <laughs> well he's up walking around again so must be working slightly have you seen my dog tell him i love him i yelled at him Joe. <laughs> Oh, he made it! Finally! Didn't even have to get all the way to the colony. Let's freaking go. He made it, Joe. Oh man, this is awesome, but at the same time, I kind of feel like it's in his head, maybe. Almost feels too perfect. That was nice. Maybe it was real after all. That would certainly be a relief. How amazing was that, huh? You kissed old Pete. Hi, Pete. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, I really did. <laughs> hey, old Pete doesn't seem like the worst guy ever. So there was something about it that was a little bit off. Just not what I thought. Whoa, this is quite the oasis here. What? They got a perfect setup. And that yacht looks pretty nice. Although, I would imagine that creatures in the sea got mutated too. Joel, this is Dana and Rocco. These are the guys from the yacht. Which one of you is the yacht captain? Guilty as charged. Captain Brooks Wilkinson, Royal Australian Navy. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Is he saying that because he's worried about the competition? Please don't tell me he's gonna be a threat to his relationship. Why'd you leave a colony, Joel? Caught stealing food? No, I didn't. Why is that such a thing? He came for love. There's no mission more admirable than love. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy seems pretty nice, so that's good. I'm just worried for a reveal to happen that he's dating Amy. I came all the way here to see you. Just wondering if 
how you're feeling about that. I think it's the most romantic thing anyone's ever done. <laughs> okay, good, because, um... But listen. Oh, no, man, it's not gonna work out like he dreamed. It's gonna break his heart. I'm not the same person that I used to be, you know? Last year, I lost someone, and he meant a lot to me. <sighs> Dang, absolutely no one in history would understand the level of pain from this rejection. Man went through the wildest life or death situations. I didn't even ask you if I should come. I am so sorry. I should have said something on the radio. Or... No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I agree with that. She had multiple opportunities to do so. But I mean, at the very least, this colony is pretty nice. I was the first person to see it coming over the wall. Giant lizard, two stories high. <gasps> we lost 1,032 souls that night. Those of us that survived took the sea. Oh, dang, he's not even sitting next to her for this. Like this guy's storytelling, though. 7045, this is 3022. Is anyone there? Tim, Ava, anyone? Over. Cap that you man, yes. You know, he brews his own beer. <laughs> he just has to hear about everyone else's accomplishments. And I bet the radio's not working because he's not there. No one else can fix it. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Wild that he traveled all that way, never thought to look at the back. <laughs> Oh, perfect timing. Finally, the radio works right when we need it to. Hey, hey, guys. Oh my god, you're alive? So good to hear your guys' voices. So good to hear you too, buddy. Hey, maybe that old colony wasn't the worst. Seems like everybody likes him a lot more than they let on. How is everything back there? We've had multiple breaches. I don't think we can stay here much longer. Uh, guys? We're surviving for now. Surviving for now what? Oh man, these radios have a very bad habit of cutting out right at the good part. I guess it all was a good part, so I can't say that fully. I think Joel knows what he needs to do now, though. Go back and save him. Or help. Wait a second, dude. He was not supposed to eat that before. Don't tell me that. The captain's been killing everybody. John, listen, two stories on Come on the wall. The lizard looking ones can't climb for Why, son of a- <laughs> Whoa, dude, I didn't expect a twist like that. Holy crap, that changes everything. Yo! Oh, you're so drunk. Not super ripped. Julie Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is out. She's not going to be any help right now. What's the end goal? Is he just trying to kill everybody or what? Kidnap them? I can feel it. This is a bad, this is a bad vibe. <laughs> what the heck? Man's just vibing harder than anyone I've ever seen. Joel. Oh gosh, here we go. We got some nice people in a post-apocalyptic setting before. Now comes the bad guys. You probably figured out we're not on a pleasure cruise. My crew and I want to thank you for your generous donation. Supplies, medicine, it will see us through to the next helpless colony down the coast. Gosh dang it, man. He's a traitor to all of Australia. I didn't see this coming from a mile away though, so bravo to the writing. We found a real special fuel source. 10 tons of pure power. Shane in the front of that yacht. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying, dude. I knew there had to be some mutated creatures in the water. That would be such a terrifying sight, and no one here is really capable of fighting, at least from what I can tell, besides obviously Joel and maybe Amy. I'm just gonna find a way to bring my hand down. Oh. I have to stop these bastards. <laughs> You traveled 85 miles across hell. I think I can stop three assholes. <laughs> Let's go. Finally, they'll be on an even playing field. Amy? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Amy is skilled. Looking like Captain America out there with that shield. Surprised they didn't tie him up stronger. Maybe they just wanted to watch, put on a show. Awesome, Joel has all the confidence in the world now. Oh, I did not expect for him to have him rigged up like that. Oh, dude, 
dude, he returns at the perfect time. Let's go. Man's gonna save him again. Shoot the dog. That worked perfectly, man. Amy's freaking skilled, dude. Amy, throw me the cannon! I know how to kill it! Oh, nice throwback to the line before. You can tell in their eyes which one are the good ones. It's just the torture that's upsetting it. Needle through water. Cap. <laughs> oh, perfect, man. Minnow gave him all the keys he needed. Let's freaking go. Joel, the ultimate survivalist. The design of that crab is really cool. Seeing it there in that shot. <laughs> Let's go. Couldn't happen to worse people. Done messed up, fools. <laughs> Everybody's reactions, man. I gotta get back to my colony. Some friends of mine told me that there's a place in the mountains, I guess, that's safe from the monsters. Maybe we'll all head there. Oh. Come on, man. Tell me that she's gonna go with him, or they're all gonna go with him. That'd be cool, too. But I don't think they could all survive a trick. I had something for you. Oh my god. Crocodile Carl? Oh my god. I know. <laughs> Thought you should have him back, finally. That crocodile's been on quite the journey. Oh, and he's given her the book as well. Shoot. I mean, he probably remembers a lot of it, so she might need it more than him. Thanks for inspiring me to take this trip. It's the best decision I ever made. <laughs> Bye, Amy. Bye. Just like that, went all that way and is leaving. Good move, my guy. I think he would have regretted that for the rest of his life if he didn't do it. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come find you. Oh, yes, man. Love hearing that. The tables have turned now. I think they both earned that moment after surviving out here for seven years. Joel? Oh. Joel? You guys! Oh. Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! <laughs> Oh man, I'm so glad they're all still okay and then he made it back. I think it's gonna work out a lot better this time around. My colony and I are headed to the mountains. I don't think hiding underground is the answer anymore. There's a great, big, beautiful, inspiring world out there. I like this pretty good message and I think it's a metaphor for other things, not just monsters in an apocalypse. Signing off, Joel Dawson. This is great stuff, man. I'm assuming we're getting close to the climax, and it's a great one. Who knew Joel would end up as the best person to survive this world? It's a long journey, kid. I hope you know what you're doing. He definitely doesn't. Snow spiders will probably get him. <laughs> oh, yes. We finally get to see them again. Nah, he'll figure it out. Possibly. <laughs> nice. Michael Matthews. Not familiar with you, but absolutely killed it with this movie. Not only did the monsters look great, but it was a surprisingly deep and impactful story, which I did not expect. I thought Dylan O'Brien did a really great job. He's obviously led a franchise himself before as the main actor, and so he definitely wasn't a one-hit wonder here. It's clear that he's a very good actor. I beat.